In a mind-boggling coincidence, the Japanese anime series Parasite is premiering in tandem with the Ebola scare. However, the conspiracy take is somewhat tossed out the window when we realize that the manga is from 1988 and this has spent many years in development just to come out at this particular time. Kevin Halcott noticed a similar sync, writing, Strange how TV show The Strain takes place in New York City and features outbreak of virus via international travel, accidental release of the infected, and is inspired by Salem's Lot, Halloween classic about undead virus, and hits New York just before Halloween. Yesterday saw a partial solar eclipse, perfectly echoing the new trailer for Kubrick's epic 2001 A Space Odyssey. Cinematically, the trailer does a really nice job of highlighting parallel images and shots throughout the movie, such as this cut between Frank Poole and Dave Bowman, as well as this shot of the sun-drenched dawn of man with Hal's red eye. These shots may add further fuel to Matt Pulver's 2001 A False Flag Odyssey theory, where he points out the film is full of mirrored and reversed images. Kubrick was further in the spotlight this week, as the 25th annual Simpsons Treehouse of Horror dedicated an entire segment called A Clockwork Yellow to parodying his films. And the Simpsons and Kubrick come together once again, as one of the earliest videos to be released from the Olympia Sync Summit featured James Evan Pilato discussing Simpsons symbolism. Now, this week we see the release of footage from the Oli Sync Summit's Saturday Night Film Series. Alongside a video premiere from Alan Abadessa Green and a presentation from Will Morgan, there was an interview with Rodney Asher, director of the Kubrick documentary Room 237. Finally, Lauren Coleman brings this week's news full circle, reminding us that the October 13th Ebola scare at Logan Airport was aboard Flight 237. For more synchronicity, visit thesyncbook.com. New shows from Syncbook Radio this week include 42 Minutes with Jeffrey Kripal and another with Ben Goray. Back-to-back episodes of Always Record with Tom Campbell and Robert Steele and a stunning new episode of the Marty Weed's Math Magical Hour with Laird Scranton and the Young Blood Brass Band. Some say the time is always now, but I say, see you next Thursday.